Hello, this is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com or RHPG.org. Tonight I'm going to do a video using Clutch's new iPrep 10.7 and the new Light On 83850 DVD drive. So the first thing you want to do is get iPrep installed on your PC, get your Light On firmware get it loaded into iPrep it'll load it straight from the RAR file of course the 12 times speed is what you want to use I am doing this on a VIA controller the COM port don't matter I'll be using G a little one and a half gig flash drive put a check in format FAT32 is what I use and click start Right now I just want to say thanks to Clutch, Caster, Commodore, all the guys that put this stuff out for us. We really appreciate it. Now this is a new feature. You can exit iPrep, reboot, shut down. I always like to do a shutdown instead of restarting. This old Dell just does better when it's booting on the flash after a shutdown. Also I want to say thanks to the beta testers. Clutch put out a put out the word he was looking for some beta testers and there was a number of good guys that showed up Sedalius so kinda led the group and they did some good testing on this so we get a good product now we boot up onto the flash of course my USB flash there is 7 I'm going to be doing this with a connectivity kit, a Pro, a CK3 Pro. Alright, at this point right here, I've got the connectivity kit hooked up. I'm hooking up the SATA cable. I'm powering on the drive. I'm going to go on and eject the drive. Power off the kit push the drive in halfway I usually go a little bit more than halfway power it back on now this is a little disclaimer that just kinda has to be there you know you're taking your chances hit Y for yes now we're gonna be doing the L83 so at this point you hit L83 space and your serial number we're going to be using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you get that, you hit enter. It says ensure your light on 83 is turned on and drive tray is ejected. Do not use a serial cable or a probe. Press any key to continue. Like I said, we got the connectivity kit hooked up and the side of cables on. So we're going to hit the space bar. So the DVD key is now extracted two times to make sure it is valid. Free key extraction number one. To receive the drive key, use Maximus free key method like follows. Eject the drive tray, power off drive, push tray in until it's half open, power on drive, press yes if you're ready. Which of course that's what I just did a second ago and we're going to do it twice. So why that I'm ready, enter. Now at this point, step two, it says close drive tray, eject drive tray, press yes if you are ready. So I'm just going to reach up and close the drive tray. I just did it manually by hand. Now I'm going to eject the drive tray. The tray is ejected and hit Y that we're ready. Now we're doing extraction number two to receive the drive key. Free key method like follows. Eject the drive tray, power off, push the drive half in. So it's ejected now. I'm going to cut the power off. I'm going to close the tray halfway, a little more than half. Power it back on. So now we are half open in our own state. Press Y for yes. Hit enter. Now, once again, we do the steps over. We close the tray. I'm doing this manually by hand. Now we eject the tray. Of 
it's ejected. When we're ready, we hit Y for yes and hit enter. It's pulling the key and the information. And you need to look over, you need to make sure your key always looks like random letters and numbers. As long as we're showing up in green, we should be good to go. Uh, does the information appear to be correct? Yes. Why? Once that happens, it's patching. Serial patching went okay. Success. Everything's appeared to go okay. Press any key to continue. We hit the space bar. Ensure your drive is turned on. Your drive will now be erased. This is normal. Are you sure your key is correct? Well, I'm as sure as anybody can be. So we hit Y, hit enter. Oh, don't even have to hit the enter. Now close the tray and press any key. I'm gonna reach up, or I'm just hitting the eject button, closing the tray. Once it finishes cycling, it's closed. Press any key, hit the space bar. It's erasing the drive. Now at this point it says turn your drive off, then back on, press any key. So on the kit, I'm going to power cycle the drive, off, on, and hit the space bar. Now it's writing the four banks. And once you get your green success, you should be good to go. Also guys, don't forget, right now, after you power everything down, take your flash and make a copy of the backups folder that's on the flash. You need that information in case anything ever happens to this drive and you need to replace it. You're going to have to have the information that's in that backups folder. Anyway, once again, I just want to say thanks to everybody that helped make this possible.